Special shout out to all my patrons. Let's keep going. Yellow. Uh, so, do you think like ten-year-old kids should be able to like castrate themselves? Ten-year-old kids aren't castrating themselves. I think the youngest anybody's ever had um, any form of uh, like gen top or uh, bottom surgery is seventeen. Is like the youngest I think. But they they start giving them like hormone blockers and shit like that. Like at like ten, they actually give puberty blockers to cis kids as young as five. So what's the, what's your point? What? How the fuck is that okay? because some kids go through precocious puberty and need to be on puberty blockers for a few years because their bodies aren't ready to handle puberty yet. Bro, that's bullshit. That's like that's some whack bullshit. doctor, like crazy ass You don't believe in precocious puberty? I, I mean, why? Wait, I just want a yes or no. Do you they... believe in precocious puberty or not? What, what the what the fuck did... What, so like they, they start growing earlier? They start like getting hair earlier? Pre precocious so what? puberty, why, why? Perco no. Precocious puberty can quite literally kill them. Like their bodies are not ready yet, are not yet ready to handle the changes that puberty is going to bring. So, I, I guess in that situation that might make sense. But I'm more it talking might about make people sense. who are like, who are like, I I feel like I'm a. I'm a girl, so like the doctors and parents and teachers are all like, "Oh, okay, he's go he's gonna go through gender reassignment." Wait, if no. if we know that puberty, fuck? also hi Mel, love you. If we hi. know that puberty blockers are safe because we give them to kids who I think the youngest who's ever had it is five, and then they stay on it until their bodies are ready to develop, so until like ten or eleven. So if we know that they're safe for these kids to be on for five years at least, why can't? Uh, trans kids be on them for typically a trans kids only on them for up to 24 months what's the issue there because like they don't really understand it understand and they're, what? they're like give, dude they don't understand it they they fucking understand what you don't understand it so you're, you're telling me a 10 year old kid should be allowed to make the decision of oh i want to i, I want to be a girl now or i think, I I think um based on all the evidence we have like from the american pediatric Asso association the american psychological association children as young as four years old have gender incongruencies so children as young as four can notice that there are things off about their gender and so we should help those kids not to feel like crap because when they do they tend to kill themselves and i don't want children to kill themselves Does that I mean, make a lot sense? of these people who do it end up killing themselves anyways, don't they? No, uh, suicidality suicidality drops insanely when trans uh, trans people have gender affirming care. I can give you the exact numbers. It's like upwards of sixty percent, a sixty percent decrease in suicidality, which is like a higher decrease than um, antidepressants. Okay, but can you agree? Some of these kids are like don't need any of this and it's only happening because their parents are insane? Uh, no, I think that parents may be, may be well-meaning and may be like, oh, I need to push my kid to this so they don't kill themselves. But that's why we have gender um, therapy, gender care, and that's why we have, we want further gender so, education so that that doesn't happen. So you, you're de you wanna deny that there's cases of kids who like, are like perfectly normal, like, six-year-old boys who have like insane liberal parents and like i'm doctors. sorry but trans kids are also normal no 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 like, like they're they're like totally normal like kids who just have insane parents who like coax them into doing this what is a parent's the goal to coaxing their kid to be trans i i, I don't know bro like they're, they're just crazy that's it they, they just they they wanted a daughter. They wanted a son, and they they want to like. This is not a real thing. Th th this is definitely a real thing. And give me, th this give me is an example. Like you, a real like, world example. How hard is it to Google? Like I I googled this yesterday, and it was like the first article that came up. There's, okay, so you should remember the article. Give me the article. Okay, this kid was like. This kid was like, six years old when his mother and like doctor started like putting him on. I think it might have been younger even like started putting on on the like the hormone blocker shit and like he started like wearing a dress and like going to school and the teachers were like 
he, he like his dad would drop him off at school and like he'd come home wearing a dress and shit like that like he at six years old what's wrong what with six-year-olds wearing a dress because he's not doing it because it's what he wants to do he's doing it because like the teachers and like parents and shit are like coaxing him into do it he, wait no. how, do you, how do you know how no. do you know he doesn't want to do it <laughs> oh come on are you kidding me you, wait, you know how, how do you, you know how, how do you know he doesn't want to do it what Dude, you know you know how um Im impressionable kids can be, don't you? He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't understand what's happening. He's just okay. So let's say you have a let's say you have a six year old son who comes up to you and says, "Daddy, I want to wear a dress. I like dresses. I'd like to wear a dress." What are you gonna say to them? Um, I'd be like, "Why?" And then he'd be like, says, oh, well, I, I like wearing, this nope. Well, he just says, I like wearing dresses. I like dresses. They look pretty. I want to wear one. Now what? I, I'd be like, do you want to like cook and clean the kitchen too? Or some shit like that. What the I fuck? I like roast. I, dude, that's just fucking like, he's just. And he who's the one, do. who's the one that would be pushing the kid into something that they don't want? <laughs> uh, you? My point is like. Your point I is... I, I, I'd want him to rethink that decision. I wouldn't want him to just... It's a fucking dress! Yeah, and I'm not I'm not trying to encourage behavior like that. What like, beha he, what's he what's behavior like that? What what's behavior like that? What if he didn't I, get it from he didn't get it from anybody? What if he dress? just likes it, dresses? He didn't get it from anyone. I, I, I don't he want saw your wife wear a dress, dress and he goes, that, that really looks like, pretty, I want to wear that. I'd be, I'd be like that's for girls. Girls wear that shit. Okay, Girl, you just said I don't. I wouldn't want my son to wear that. And you're saying that parents, would, some parents are pushing kids into something that they don't okay, want. That would be you. I was how is, how is telling my son not to wear a dress the same as like because he wants to giving how how is that the same as giving him hormone blockers that prevent him from. Developing, and growing. No, 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 no. It's temporary, and you can't just give it's them hormone temporary. blockers. Dude, these chem yes, it is temporary. Chemicals, dude, they are on hormone blockers like for. Nazis would give people the no, they weren't. Them. No, no, stop. Lupron is not the chemical Nazis would use. Okay, so don't even. Second of all, what are you gonna do if you have a trans teenager who's contemplating suicide? What is? What are your? What is your steps? I mean, maybe the reason he's contemplating suicide is because he's been being filled with all this like whack ass ideas and like nonsense. i i want i want you to know something i don't know if you have yeah. kids i hope you don't because if you have a trans kid and you go they want to kill themselves because of the way other people are loading their heads up and not they want to kill themselves because i as their parent don't even fucking accept them that's wild okay maybe if you accepted your child you know and worked with your child I hate to use use anecdotal evidence and real world examples, but if you'd like to talk to somebody who has a trans kid who accepted their trans kid, Mel is right here. If, you can if, if it's a case of someone who really has just like out of whack hormones and can't like no, you don't have to have out of whack hormones. That's not a thing either. Like like if they truly can't get a grip on reality and just need to, and it's, just it is reality. Like. Being trans is reality. In, in some cases, but for the most part, a lot, I think a lot of these no. kids are just kind of going with what's. No, your p parents like you, like your hypothetical situation. If you were a parent pushing your kid to do something that they don't want to do, it's parents like you that are causing that. Kids are okay, dude. Kids are impressionable, right? They're it not is. when it comes to gender. Yes. Oh not. my god. Could yes, I have changed? Could I have no, changed you not. into a girl? Could I have made you a girl? When you were a kid, could I have made you a girl? No, what the fuck? See, no, like, exactly. I, I couldn't have made you a girl. Exactly. No, I couldn't have done it. I'm going to tell you right now, there's not a single bit of adult influence when I was growing up that would have made me go, I'm a girl. Because <laughs> I knew I was a boy. On TV? Oh, okay, dude, dude you, you, you see someone like being an astronaut on TV and you're like, oh, I want to be no, an astronaut, right? I'm a gender, not being, not a future career path. Oh my, dude, no, no, no. You see it yeah, on yeah, TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. These kids see this totally shit on TV. misinformed like, oh. when it comes to what a transgender child actually is. 
Dude, and you're not understand. opening to even learning they, or listening the way that you keep understand. cutting. And you're like pushing they do away. That's understand. not true. Again, no, I, already children, I already told you, children. I already told you, children as young understand. as four years old. I've already answered this. Children as young as four years old have incongruencies with their gender, and they re and they recognize that there's something and wrong so, with and them. And so, because of that, we should like re replace their sexual organs with no genders. What we should, you're what, not getting what, surgery. What are you talking about? <sighs> You're just oh making shit. You're just making stuff up now. No, I'm not. This is what it leads into. It's no, what it, it leads doesn't. into. No, it doesn't lead Kinda into like... anything. Why do you think? Can I ask you a question? Why do you think, like, 15, 20 years ago, all trans people were like in their 30s and 40s? Why do you think that was? Fucking, I don't know. Maybe because their fucking ideas are insane. Oh Jesus Christ! So you're just like, I'm gonna be transphobic, and that's it. You're not gonna engage. Yeah, you don't even want to like learn about what a transgender person actually is. No, I get like their their brain. No, you don't get it. And their hormones are out of whack. No, like, their no, hormones, their are, hormones not are not out of, out of whack. You don't even un whatever. You don't even know how what it means to be trans. Their hormones are not out of whack. Okay. Sure, I'm not, I'm not totally ed educated on it, but I still think that not totally educated or not at all. Okay. And and if you think it's okay, like there's something wrong with you. I would argue you have no education on it, and you're trying to argue a point based on like what you've read on Facebook or some shit. Bottom, I mean, my bottom line, it like I think people deserve to be happy. If you like grow up and you're like, do you? Doesn't fucking sound like it. Oh fuck off! If if people grow up and decide like. I, I don't feel comfortable like like I want I want to be a woman I want to be happy then fine they should be able to do that I'm totally fine with that what no I'm not it's not a choice someone's making they're not saying I want to be a woman I want to be happy they are they have an internal sense of self that they actually discover as a child in the vast majority of cases no they didn't I'm not, dude they're being coaxed they're being influenced no they are not cases. yes they are I, I think that does happen. Prove I think it. there are people like that, but I think for the yeah, mo in most of these prove cases, it. people are being coaxed and influenced prove into making it. those decisions. Prove it. Oh, I, I, prove I, I gave it. you. Like, let's actually let's look at some of the actual proof. Why don't we? Let's like just dude. see. Do if people are getting coaxed into it, then I would assume, and I, I'm sure Mel, you would agree, that people would regret transitioning right if they if they or that or, or that do. children would detransition or the people would detransition right right well we can pull up a study this is a this is regret after gender affirming surgery a multidisciplinary a multidisciplinary approach to a multifaceted patient experience and what we actually find is that 0.3 percent of patients detransition and stay detransitioned the overwhelming okay, majority like, of patients what, what harm, will retransition to their body dude I, any I, you, any medical treatment can harm everybody. your body any chemotherapy can harm your body getting a tumor removed can harm your body anything can harm your body taking tylenol can harm your body so what does that have to do with anything let's then look at gender identity five years after social transition so this was taking trans youth two uh 317 of them 208 transgender girls 109 transgender boys and we found that of them uh only a total of 2.5 percent of them identified as cisgender at the end of a five-year period so from from when they started well, their no transition shit, process they're, they're to when they ended by all these people who are like this is okay this is normal wait like, so like these so just Insane just people. just oh fuck just again to mention uh i'm giving you proof that they don't regret their transition and that very few of them detransition and your answer is well of course they don't regret but their they, transition because they're around people that love and respect them wow crazy dude, like not okay 90 percent of this shit is environmental it's no not, it's not that where did you get that statistic dude use your, use your fucking brains and stop like you can't just pull statistics out of your ass just because you think that's what it is. I love 90%. I, love, that I really from? I really do love uh just random numbers with no backing. <laughs> that's my favorite thing. 87% of people uh are fish. Dude, most of those statistics Did you know that? 87% anyway. of people are fish. They're by dude, you you I I did you just say bias. most of statistics yes, are? They're what biased. did you say? They're they're, they're biased. They're fu they fucking. Fudge explain the to me. Explain to me where the bias Whoa. would be in this study, where we just take children 
and see if they regret their transition. What's um, the bias? These, these insane like Nazi doctors who want to literally castrate that didn't kids answer that like, didn't answer the question. Are gonna do whatever? Are Still gonna do didn't whatever answer the question. To justify didn't answer Dude, the question. You justifying castrating. Didn't answer the children. question. We didn't already answer the told question. you no castration. For I would love to hear. Yeah, I would love you, to hear. I would love. I would love to, to hear. Them. I would love to hear what bias is in this study. I just want to hear what bias specifically is in this study. I just told like these crazy. No, you didn't. Ass that's not. That's not telling me what. What. That's not telling me what bias it exists in my study. So go ahead and tell me what bias exists in it. You're getting these studies from doc. Like, like the the doctors are the ones compiling these studies, right? Mel, did you know ninety five percent of people who who complain about studies never went to college? Back. I went. I went to college, so I'm smarter than everyone else. Dude. I didn't go to college. <laughs> Congrats! Like, like, did I ever say I went to college? <laughs> the fuck! I just said you didn't. I didn't say I did. Oh, you, you didn't go to college. So, so again, like, so so you, so I want you to tell me specifically how this specific study is biased. I'm waiting. These, I do like. I, I say it, and you just don't like. You guys just keep repeating things. You just keep things. saying they're schnazi doctors. That's not an answer. That doesn't tell me how they fudged the numbers of just asking people who transitioned whether or not they regretted their transition and looked to see how many of them detransitioned. If I have a hundred ducks, pick out, if I have a hundred ducks and I count out thirty ducks people. and I go, "Hey, thirty percent of my ducks are white," and I make a study about how thirty percent of my ducks are white, how am I fudging the numbers of that study? Because like like any like any predator, they pick out these emotionally vulnerable people. Oh Jesus! It and is then, it uh, is the poor man who cannot verify what they say by just going off. Oh, the studies are bogus. If I pulled up a study real quick that said that trans kids uh, giving gender affirming care is harmful, if I pulled up a study like that and presented you to that study, would you would you believe it? I mean, I would assume that was probably biased too. Like everything's biased. No one actually wants to like. You're just. You've even said you would just assume. We're not assuming anything with what we're talking about. We're speaking Dallas. facts. I mean, I think you're speaking your facts. You're speaking your version of the facts. What the hell is your facts? <laughs> Who's there? Not you. Goodbye. The, the Shout out to Cat Coven for the donation. Want to guess booted?